My last video on creating real stick figure animations did surprisingly well, so obviously I wasn't the only one fed up with these Adobe Express stick animations. But here's the thing. I blitzed through the tutorial like I was late for something important. Thankfully, a bunch of you caught on and requested a more detailed breakdown. We'll ask and you shall receive, folks. Today, we're slowing it down and making things even easier to follow. Oh, and if you haven't seen that video, you're seriously missing out. Click this handy little pop-up or hit the link in the description. And when you're done, leave your testimonies in the comment section. If you're sitting there wondering why you should care about stick animations, take a look at this. These guys are crushing it in this niche, and the numbers are absolutely wild. Seriously, their latest video got more views in a few hours than the overall views on my channel. And sure, maybe shorts don't pay as much as long-form content, but who cares when you're racking up views like that? Plus, these types of videos are blowing up on Instagram and TikTok, too. To make it easy, I'll be breaking this process into a two-part video. Today, we're focusing on creating the actual characters. Stick with me till the end, and you'll have everything you need to create your own stick figures. So be sure to smash these awesome buttons so you don't miss part two where we'll get deep into animating your stick figures. Keep in mind that I'm no expert at creating these sticky animations, but I'll do my best to provide you with real value throughout this video. I'll also be leaving any resource files in the resource category of my Discord server. The link will be in the description and on my channel page. Now, let's dive in. I'll show you three ways to create your stick figures. Method one is the easiest approach, but don't get too comfortable because methods two and three will have you doing a bit more work. For this first one, we'll go to either of these two websites, select vector and search for a stick figure. Once we've found the perfect character, download that bad boy and let's get to work. We need to grab the PNG from the vector file. So let's head over to Photo P. If you haven't heard of it, it's like the free version of Photoshop but without the hefty price tag. The cool part? It opens pretty much every one of these file formats. So we'll upload our stick figure and hide any unnecessary background layers like these ones. No need to color the stick figure itself, but once we're fine with the character just export it as a PNG. On to method two, we'll be using Krita, which you can download from their official site. Once it's installed, fire it up and create a new document. Pro tip, aim for a YouTube-friendly resolution, so this aspect ratio will do. Now if you have a tablet, I highly recommend using it for your drawings. The lines are way smoother and honestly it just feels better than wrestling with a trackpad. But if you're like me and stuck with just a laptop, don't worry, I've got your back. I'll show you how to get clean, smooth lines using just a trackpad. First, you'll want to make sure the Tool Options panel is visible. If it's not, no biggie, just activate it from this menu. Now let's check out the options to see how we can smooth out our lines. The Stabilizer tool does wonders for your lines, but it can slow things down a bit. So we won't rely on it too much. Instead, we'll use some other tricks to get crisp, clean lines. For this demo, we're going to create two popular stick figure styles. But before we dive into that, let's take a quick look at the tools we'll be using. Let's create a simple head using this circle tool just like that. Easy, right? Now, for the eyes, we'll do the same thing, pop in two smaller circles, and voila! We've got a face coming together. It's already starting to look like a person, well, a stick person. Now, for the mouth, this is where the magic happens. Grab this tool, click where you want the smile to start, go to where you want it to end, and then click again. Finally hit Enter, and suddenly there's your mouth, perfectly steady with no squiggly lines in sight. But wait, we need some personality here, let's give this guy a smile. All we've got to do is click one side of the line, go to the other end, and then click and drag it up to curve it like this. We've got a smiling face now. If you're feeling fancy and want to sharpen those edges, grab the eraser, set it to stabilizer, and clean up like a pro. See? Easy peasy. All right, now that we've played around with the basics, it's time to get serious. Let's create our first character. First up, the head. We're going for an oval shape this time, and then we'll create a new layer for the eyes. Pro tip. Layers are your best friend when it comes to tweaking things without wrecking the whole drawing. Once the eye is drawn, we can select this tool and use it to rotate the eye a little for some added flair. Next, we'll duplicate that layer, shift the second eye to the right, and rotate it as well. Now for the lens, same shape, but this time we change the fill to ensure our shape is colored. Let's move on to the lips. We'll pop open a new layer, use our trusty line tool to draw the shape and repeat the process for the eyebrows. Again, use the eraser and the stabilizer tools to clean these edges. Looking good already, right? We can duplicate the eyebrow layer, mirror it horizontally, and position it over the other eye. Now we've got ourselves a symmetrical, suave-looking stick figure. For the body, it's time to break out the brush tool. And let's draw the character's body. Oh, and we can't forget the tie. Let's use the line tool to draw it, fill it in with the paint bucket, and boom. This stick figure is ready for business. We'll finish off the legs and arms, and hey, why not flip that smile vertically to give them a different expression? 
To balance things out, we'll resize the head just a little and add the legs. Now don't forget, most of this was done with just three or four tools. It doesn't take a master artist to make this work. This is only my second time doing it, and honestly, not too shabby, so go wild with your stick figure designs. Add some color, sprinkle in some details, make it your own. Alright, now for the third approach, and here's where we get a little sneaky. We're going to screenshot an image of our favorite stick figure character from one of these popular channels. Once you've got your image, you can upload it to a background remover or do it yourself using Photopea. With the background out of the way, head back to Krita and let's start fresh with a new document. Here's the cool part. We're going to use that image as a reference. Select this tool and upload our stick figure character. We're simply going to trace over this character. Now, I'll say this. Creating your own unique characters is always the way to go. But I get it. If you're just starting out, it can feel intimidating. So tracing a reference image is a great way to practice, learn the ropes, and get comfortable with the tools. To make things easier, decrease the opacity of the reference image so it fades into the background and grab your favorite tool. First things first, make sure your brush size is on point. You don't want to draw a stick figure with a brush the size of a paint roller. Once that's set, click where you want to start your line, move to where you want the line or curve to end, and click and drag until it looks just right. Super simple, right? Once you're happy with it, just hit enter and boom, clean, smooth line. Easy peasy. Now don't worry if you mess up. We've all been there. Just hit escape if you haven't finished the line yet or control or command Z if it's already drawn. I'll speed through the rest of the image using this process and you'll see how quick it can be once you get the hang of it. Next, let's switch to the brush tool to tackle those details, nostrils and eyes. With just a few clicks, our character's head is looking snazzy and we're ready to move on to the body, arms, and legs. Now, here's the fun part. Let's compare it to the original. Looks pretty close, right? The lines on our version are a little cleaner, which is great, especially if you want that smooth, polished look. For finer details like the eyebrows, which should be thinner in some areas and thicker in others, we'll create another layer. Use the eraser, and with the stabilizer on, smooth out any wonky bits. Repeat the process on the other side, and before you know it, You've got yourself a stick figure that's ready to jump into action. And there we have it. This looks fantastic and is primed for animation in the next video. Trust me, if you're into creating animations, you'll definitely love what we've got coming up. And hey, if stick figures aren't quite scratching that creative itch, don't worry, I've got something even better. Check out this video to discover how you can create mind-blowing animations entirely with AI tools. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one.